The Nokia Lumia 925 has solid chances of being the best Windows phone out there. Is it really the case? Let's check it out in our full review right now. When Nokia announced the Lumia 925 at its special event in London, the buzzword of the day was aluminum. However, the Lumia 925 is not made completely out of this material and is not a unibody phone. The back panel, which is non-reuser removable, is made out of polycarbonate, this time a very soft touch version of it. Nokia also slightly tweaked the design of the Lumia 925. While one can still instantly recognize it as a Nokia phone, it is somewhat different from the Lumia 920 and Lumia 928. It is no longer the tank its predecessor was. Instead, we're looking at a thinner, more elegant, slicker version of the phone. In addition to some design tweaks, Nokia also improved its peer view camera over the unit on the Lumia 920 by throwing in an additional sixth lens for better overall sharpness, color reproduction, and image quality. For a detailed look at all the aspects of the phone, make sure to check out our full review over at Pocket Now and subscribe to our social media channels so you don't miss anything. Going around the device, you'll see a nice piece of Gorilla Glass 2 taking up the entire front, slightly curved, blending in with the aluminum on the sides. Behind the glass is where the 4.5 inch Pure Motion HD Plus Clear Black AMOLED screen resides, with a resolution of 768 by 1280 for a PPI rating of 334. The earpiece is at the top alongside the sensors, a 1.2 megapixel wide angle webcam and the Nokia branding, while the bottom is specific to any Windows phone with the back, home and search buttons, nicely backlit and glowing in white. The aluminum goes all the way around the phone, on the edges, and while there's nothing for us to show you on the left and the bottom part, the right edge is also specific to Nokia Windows phones, with buttons for volume up and volume down, power and camera. These two are made out of aluminum and have a nice click to them. Up top, there's a micro SIM tray, a 3.5mm headphone jack, a secondary microphone for noise cancellation, as well as the micro USB port for syncing and charging. The camera is what instantly pops out when you look at the back of the Lumia 925, the second generation peer view unit with the optical image stabilization, improved low light performance, curl size lens, and a system containing an additional 6 lens for improved picture quality. Above the construction there's a dual LED flash, rather powerful, and the bottom holds the speaker grill just below the three connectors which provide wireless charging once a special accessory back cover is slapped on. What you can see is the same dual core Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 processor from the Lumia 920 and 928, clocked at 1.5 GHz, 1 GB of RAM, 16 GB of non-expandable storage, there will be some 32 GB exclusive versions, plus all the usual suspects, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, NFC, sensors, and a 2000 mAh battery. Needless to say that the phone feels exceptional in the hand, and the materials used are premium. We only have two things to complain about. The flimsy, squeaky back cover, which sounds like this. And a slight gap on the bottom, but Nokia told us it is by design. We believe them, but don't necessarily accept it. A premium device should come squeak and gap free. Windows Phone is just that. Windows Phone. Fluid as it ever was, with no noticeable lags or stutters. The ecosystem has improved a lot, but you still won't find a YouTube app, Google Apps, Instagram, Facebook Pages Manager, and some other applications which are there on competing platforms. There are third-party solutions though. As far as the OS itself is concerned, it still needs some more features to close the gap between Windows Phone and Android as well as iOS. An update is expected soon, and we hope for the best. Nokia went all-in to deliver a good user experience, bundling applications which come in very handy, like the entire Hearsuit for free voice-guided online and offline navigation, location discovery and traffic, where available. Nokia Music is a nice alternative to Xbox Music, and additional titles like App Highlights or Photo Beamer all add to the experience. As far as imaging is concerned, the Finns bundled their own Nokia Smart Cam app, which enables you to unleash your creativity and take the Windows Phone camera to the next level. Action shots, motion blurs, best faces, unwanted object removal, and more are all featured. That plus the Creative Studio for easily adding effects to stills. We have spent five solid days with the Nokia Lumia 925 and have used it mainly in the city of Oradea. Reception was solid, oftentimes one bar better than any other phone, and call quality was just as good. We sounded good to people on the other end of the line, and that's how they sounded to us. The noise cancellation is doing a great job. Speakerphone performance is also good. 
though the loudspeaker on the back oftentimes requires a hand cup gesture to direct the sound towards us. Data was also reliable with speed just as good as on any other phone, depending on the carrier's limitation and signal strength. When it comes to camera performance, we have no doubt that the Lumia 925 is the best shooter on Windows Phone at the moment. That until Nokia makes it obsolete with its EOS announcement soon. Until then, pictures come out clear, bright and crisp, though sometimes we wish we could have captured more detail. Thanks to Peerview Stage 2, the Lumia 925 is a king when it comes to the light performance. We are yet to find a phone which can come close to it. The one-third of an inch backside illuminated sensor, coupled with optical image stabilization, does an exceptional job. Battery life was also good for a 2000 mAh unit. Our typical usage scenario included 5 to 10 short voice calls initiated and received, same amount of text messages, some Facebook IMs, about 10 emails received and just as many sent, moderate web browsing, about 15 minutes of gameplay, some music streaming, a short 15 minute session of GPS navigation, as well as taking 10 to 20 pictures. We started our day off at 6am in the morning and at midnight we were still good to go for 3 more hours. On our next attempt, the second day, we almost doubled our usage and the battery died on us shortly before 11pm. There is no doubt that the Lumia 925 is the best Windows phone on the market today. Of course, we'll understand if you don't order one right now after seeing this review, knowing that 1. This unlocked unit set us back about $750 and 2. The Nokia EOS is just around the corner. If you don't care about any of those, then by all means, go for the best. Even if you're not a fan of the platform, if Android doesn't appeal to you and you'd prefer not to have an iPhone, the Lumia 925 is the right choice. We rate the Nokia Lumia 925 an 8.3, mainly because of the flimsy backplate which just doesn't feel right when it squeaks. Else, all our complaints are more towards Windows Phone than Nokia and its Lumia 925. Everyone that's gonna do it for today for a full Nokia Lumia 925 review, I've been Anton Dinoj, thank you very much for watching. You can follow me on Facebook as well as on Twitter and remember to follow PocketNow on all the usual social media channels. If you've liked this video, please give us the usual thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching again. Till next time.